Hey guys, you're watching because you're one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. Today, we're going to continue back over at our main city that we started last time. Uh, but I did want to just come over here and check out what's going on. Making sure that there's no real problems. Uh, it doesn't look like we've got any abandoned buildings in the factory resort uh, or in the industrial resort, which is really nice. Someone said that the roads were wrong here. Um, unless I fixed it without knowing, I can't see anything wrong with the roads. I can't see any, any error signs, I can't see any one ways when they shouldn't be, so I think we're all good there. Uh, this main uh, town part, the main town, has no abandoned buildings either. And nor does this little strip anymore. What about over, what about over here? Nor does this one. Now what I've also noticed, oh, we've got a building that burned down. Uh, what I have noticed is, look at our demand. Our demand has gone from being all residential to, last episode, to hardly any residential, uh, more commercial and more industrial. So I was right about not putting down more houses. Putting down more houses is not the correct thing to do when you have a high demand for houses. As strange as that sounds, uh, you want to wait because the houses might not all be full, uh, the families are going to grow, therefore giving more population. And it seems that industrial and commercial is what's, uh, what's being called for now. Yeah, we're still way over educated as well for this. How about our schooling? We, we didn't upgrade it that long ago. Um, education, we're like well over. Graduated, 74% of our town so far has graduated. That's not bad. We're a pretty smart city. Um, it's going to be good because it's going to reduce fire risk and uh, crime and everything. Uh, as far as roads are concerned, uh, this is the only one that's really causing any problems. Uh, and there's traffic lights there. We could probably make that better by not having traffic lights there. There is in real life. Well, you know what? Oh, there is some traffic here. No, you know what? I'm going to remove those traffic lights. Uh... Switch traffic lights. Bing. There we go. So now there's no traffic lights there. So they just sort of flow when they can. They sort of just go whenever it's possible. Uh, this train is what really messes everybody up. In real life, that train is not going past as often as what it is. <laughs> it's good. That means we've got a good freight, uh, a, a good freight thing going on here as well. I suppose because of. This being so central in this town, all of the industry can use that um, that railroad. It makes it very, very easy. This is what we done last episode. Really cool start to uh, to what we want to have here. Our main uh, goal idea, uh, and I think what we're going to do is figure out what we're going to put in the middle here. And there's a few things that we can go for. We can go for one of these, very futuristic. Don't really like the sound of that. I've got a hiccup uh, train coming as well now these are more of the buildings that i was thinking of amsterdam palace isn't really this is a huge space to fill but it's not really quite as uh, big enough for what i want uh that's getting close a stadium could be cool to have right at the end there and so would a london eye Ooh. so definitely london eye is favorite at the moment that's just a uh, basketball court these are just uh, really nice actual statues, but these, if I could fit one in here, a bit bigger than that, that's a bit boring. What is that, like a little devil? Plaza of the Dead, okay, yeah, not <laughs> not as the main attraction, what's that, Plaza of the Boomerang? Oh, shopping, looked like a boomerang to me. Uh, ooh, some larger ones here, friend, nope, nope, I want something that looks really cool in this central part. Uh, no, 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 no. Ooh, ooh. Oh, how how would I get that to go central? I mean, I could do it. I could cheat, and I think I can put that. No, I can't. I still can't put that anywhere. I would have to like place it and then move it. Oh, that would be like really really nice to have there. These skyscrapers are obviously going to be very uh, important as well. What is this business park? Nearly big enough. That would be all. Yeah, nearly, nearly small enough. Sorry, other way around. And mostly the buildings get bigger and bigger from here. Shopping center. Oh, yeah. Boom. 
Now that's pretty cool. A casino right in the middle there. Uh, I should probably have it on the other side of the road though. Uh, but yeah, no, I like that. Uh, where was that? Casino. This side. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then have some, uh, if I can fit. Oh, it looks a little bit tight because of the ground here. But if I could fit some car parks in. I don't know if I can. Um, uh, park. All. They don't fit either. These ones will, but these aren't really big enough. Uh, unless I don't bother and I put like the car parks down here instead for it. That could work. Um, let's go with like more fancy ones. One. Oops. Not with a gap between it. These ones are quite fancy because they've got the trees uh, in between. My, the normal car park that I use is just a plain like concrete uh, mass. If we put four on either side. Two. Three. Four. I see that tree. And that tree. Yes, shift P, turn that off. See, that's really interesting to have down uh, to the car park, down to the casino. Um, maybe you're getting some really nice street lights and some spotlights to light that up at night. That could be cool as well. I don't know what this looks like at night. There's no quick way for me to set the night. Is there like, is there, or is there, can I? No, I don't know if I could like move that around. There probably is some quick way to do it, but that's really cool to have there as well. Power. I'm not going to worry about power or water here for the minute. Uh, well, water I can do, I suppose. But power, what we'll do is we'll just wait until it's a little bit more uh, finished. Or, or there's a little bit more uh, substance to it. And then we won't need as many power lines. We'll just need like one main power line in. So we'll have that going down here. We'll have that there. These are never easy to do. There's... I'm sure there's mods out that doesn't uh, that, that allows you to not do this, and it like just puts all the water everywhere for you straight off the bat. <laughs> I'm sure there's. Oh, people have been asking in the comment section, can you do a list of all the mods that you have on this series? I will try my best, but there's over like 900 mods, although it doesn't really look like it. There's there's over 900 of them, uh, which is a lot of mods, and I don't know if I can actually like list them all. Um, it, it's a bit crazy. I know there's a way to like make a playlist of all your mods, so I'll try and do that if possible. Uh, but yeah, so we've got water here. We just need power. Uh, they can wait. What's up with these roads? Oh, yes. I see. Uh, that one. That one. There we go. Now it's actually a roundabout. I, I had them going, like, meeting up in the middle. That was bad. Okay, that would have caused some trouble. Uh, I might have to do the lanes to these. I mean, it looks pretty decent, but we've got only two lanes allowed to turn left, but going into a three-lane road. I mean, what would be uh, more preferable or more efficient would be to have that going into that lane. That going into that lane. That going into that lane. This one going into... This one going into that one. That one... Going into that one. And this one... Going into those four? That makes no sense. Well, like, like this one makes sense, but we really want this lane to be able to. No. No, 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 no. How do I undo that one? Ah, I just gotta click them again. Yes. Take that one away. These three are right. These three are fine. But then we want this one having the option to go into that one, that one, that one, or straight on. This one, go into this one. Or this one. And this one, going into this one. 
that makes no sense either. No. That, I don't, I can't understand six lane. <laughs> six lane boats. To get it really efficient so they just all really easily move around is so hard. I, I suppose these ones can stay going one, two, three, and then doing the same on this one. One, two, and three. And then these three lanes you can just sort of meld into where you want. Uh, all of these have to go left. Uh, but these can be easily done. Like we could do that one into that one or that one. The middle one into that one or that one. And the third one into that one or that one. Now that's really efficient. That works very, very well. Look at them using the car park for no reason. There's a cut. There's a casino there, I suppose. But the casino doesn't have anything interesting. That one and that one. Oops. That one. Because there's no power there. Yeah, that's probably the most efficient way that I'm going to do it. And then these three lanes are sort of go where you need to go. Apart from, I'm sure he just used... Hey, why are they using that those two lanes to go straight on? Hey, that's not allowed. That's literally not allowed. That's literally, you're doing an illegal move. Well, okay, I'm not going to bother with that then, because that ain't working. I wonder if it works at all on any of the other roundabouts that I've done. It might not. It might just be completely bust anyway. Okay, uh, back to finding the important part uh, for over here now. We w we do want something very big. I like the London Eye. Or oh, what is it? London Eye? It is the London Eye. I like the London Eye. Um, I think I want it on this road like that. Yes. We've already got some paths going on here, and then we'll have some roads coming off here. They can be small but concrete roads. They can be two-way roads, and they can come off around the back of here. Look how neat that looks. Oh, that looks so neat. And then having uh, some car parks down here. If I can extend that going up there, and that going up there, I might be able to fit another building in here. But I'm thinking about using these nice car parks again facing towards that road and one two three four five uh, these roads can also flip around the back oh and do something something cheeky like this how big are those car parks are they four wide i think they're four wide so how would i i want to have it in like a snake formation is it or is it five? Or oh, is four? And then how would I get the trees facing? No, I want the trees to be like with their back to it. Yeah, like that. So I've got to click on this side. See, that looks pretty smart, right? That looks pretty smart. And then could I join that road up straight into there? I can't go straight, but if I went at a, like a perfect 45 degree. 150. Bang. Yes. Oh, so much yes. Okay, snap. That one. Down to the end. Four block gap. Up to there. No, 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 no. Up to there. Take the snap off. 150 degrees. There we go. Oh, excellent. And then to get the trees on the right side, I have to click on this side. Two, three, four. Now that's an attraction. That's going to bring in the folks. That's really cool to have at the end of that road as well, isn't it? You can see it from miles away. All these posh trees about. Really, really nice. In the middle of this area, um, I want to have... Uh, skyscrapers I do want a very much a, a high-rise going on here uh, so we probably want let's do a little bit of zoning here we haven't got any electricity so we'll have to bring that over but once we zone it, it should help high density commercial can high density commercial turn into skyscrapers I'm sure it can I know offices can but offices we don't really have a too much of a demand for uh, at all I don't think I suppose I could do it. We've got the smart enough people to work here. I could have offices down in these three. Let's just try. Let's just give it a go. If 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 they don't work, we can always just dezone them. We'll just wait. Let's have offices in those ones. Let's have commercial 
in these ones. And down these ones. Like that. And then have high density residential in those ones. Maybe leaving the road on the roundabout clear. That probably is a smart decision and same as this road down here uh, leave that at least moderately free uh, so we don't get cars parking on the side of the road and stuff like that around there uh, but yeah in in everywhere else we can see where there's where they're zoned it should fill up now it looks like we've got some offices going up we've got the commercial going up so far no high density residential is going up but the demand is like non-existent for residentials anyway so it's to be uh, a little bit expected uh, for the power i suppose we should run the power along the side of that this road here for the moment until it spreads some other better way or maybe the city will end up having its own power source i don't know and uh, we'll go straight down here does that is that going to be close enough to join up to that it is yes it is uh, and then I can just sort of struggle with this for a little bit and just like put power going in everywhere so they don't complain otherwise it just gets really tricky uh, over that road over this road I'm trying not to use up as much uh, commercial as possible I know you guys have let me know about mods that uh, um, like uh, allow me not to have any power lines I like power lines. Um, I just like them when they look good. That's all. I'll have that going in there. And once the buildings go up, they we won't need as many electrical cables. So I'm going to actually go around the outside here and into there for the minute. Because once, once they start spreading like they did with our normal town, uh, we can then take away uh, the power lines again. So we've got power here. We've got crime going on. Yes, uh, we should probably have our own hospitals and stuff going on. We've only got clinics, I think, uh, over here. Average health is 55, 56, gone up. Excellent. We do only have like that one little clinic going on here. Oh, there might be like two or three underneath it. We don't have an actual hospital going on. Now there's two different hospitals that we have that I have installed. I can install more if we want to, but we've got the little clinics and we've got these large hospitals. I think I want to combine the two together. I think that would be really smart and uh, it would be probably best to have it on like one of these roads here so we've got like easy access onto the main highway. Yeah, I think right here would be absolutely perfect for it. So, uh, to combine them both together and not having them boringly just on the road. Uh, I think we're going to do a little bit of an in-road. Like this. Uh, snap. So we get it nice and straight. And like this. And I think that's, that's probably all we that we need at the minute. And then we'll have... I can't do that there. It's too big to go there. What if I had it on the side here? Okay, that works. I like how that looks. And then I want to have the other one. I think I want to, like, joined into it. Would be really cool. I suppose I could do that here and then put another one next to it. I need the road to go in between. So I can... Like, if I had that there. And then... That there. I don't like how these two look next to each other. I like how these two can join into each other. It would be better to have it the other way around, though. Okay, let's take that away. I'm going to make that road go here. This one goes on the right-hand side. This one then intersects it. I think that looks much cooler, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then maybe even getting a little clinic off the side. Uh, not that one. Like this one. As like little A and E, because the A and E's are always uh, like their own entrance. See, that's really cool. It looks all like one building, but there's there's a bunch of hospitals actually going on there. They need water and electricity. Ignore that. Um, I'm going to put another one across the road here. Oh, it goes over the road though. 
does that actually affect that it goes over that road? Because it's not actually, like, bothering anything. But we'll just have to wait and see. But there's always multiple wards. The hospital that's near to me has, like, 17 or so different buildings. It's like a real scatter-style uh, hospital. And then this little area here, we should be able to make into a decent... Not that one. Not that one. Uh, it, it, into a decent car park. Favourites? There. And that. And how, what's going to be the best way to do this car park? You want it to be decently sized. Like if we done that. That. You could go right underneath the road. Uh, underneath the bridge here. We just do that. I mean, yeah, that works, doesn't it? That works. That works relatively okay. Uh, cars are definitely coming this side, but I haven't seen any cars go this way yet. But there's nothing really there for the them to go. Oh, he's away. Look at him go! All right, wonderful. Uh, that looks really nice. Then I would really like to have uh, a bit of an entrance going on here. Maybe even some um, advertisement boards or something like that. We haven't really touched on those. Advertise billboards, um, special billboards. Yeah, okay. Random commercial logo. No, I want no, no, no. Random small billboard. I want random large billboards. Medium. Random large billboards. Okay, so we have yeah yeah yeah. See like this, and then we can get, use the line tool. To place these next to each other now it goes really well apart from that point where it completely misses up so i put them down on here instead i want to get a good randomized why well, are they always the same it well, looks like they're always they're always the same they're not as random as i thought then right yeah look they're always that one what about on the other one okay well whatever uh it's not not quite as random as i want Ah, oh, you're joking me. You should have gone down. Ah, that. Pow. There we go. Oops. Yeah, some advertisement down there. It just looks a little bit more interesting than a, than a fence or a chain link fence or a, or a hedge. Uh, it just looks a little bit more interesting. I think we need to dress up this side, though. We will get a hedge on this side and then trees in between. So we'll grab the hedge first. Uh, not in favourites. I ain't got any hedges in favourites. Uh, this one. Uh, I want it on fence mode. Uh, I'll go from the corner then. Like, I'll do it like that then. And then... Along here. I don't mind going around the edge of the road. I think that's really cool. And then up to there. And then we'll put some trees to make get rid of this whole uh, terrible ground look as, as it's on a sort of different height. So, uh, trees. Uh, no trees. Good trees. And then I think we'll go with small beech tree. Yes, perfect tree for it. So we'll have a little line of these. Just one block thick should work. I don't think it'll be in the way of the um, advertising boards either. Or oh, we've got one that just sort of pokes through. I can move that. There we go. Yeah. So that looks like an interesting now looking hospital, right? Let's get some water to the hospital. That's probably uh, a very key and integral part uh, to a hospital. Let's get that on the road. I think that's covered everything. And uh, it sh does that have power? Yes, it's, it's jump power just from there now. Excellent. Um, power has jumped from the middle to here. So I can definitely get rid of this cable now. It doesn't take long for it to sort of jump about, does it? And I can delete power from here to there. Because it's jumped from there to there now. Okay, wonderful. Everything is going swimmingly so far. 
Uh, we have no visitors to the casino. Nobody cares about the casino. Uh, it doesn't surprise me. We don't really have anything touristy um, at our place. The only thing that did uh, somewhat attract tourists for some reason was the cathedral. See, 30, 20 people this week. And 14 last week. It's really weird because usually for tourism, you're going to need some sort of uh, transport in and out, like an airport. We don't have an airport, so these tourists are literally uh, driving here, uh, which is crazy. So we've got um, health here. Uh, we're going to need uh, police and fire as well in this area. I know we've got them over there, but we're going to want to have their own uh, versions of them. Unfortunately, though, I am out of time for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, then hit that like button. If you haven't then feel free to subscribe. Next episode, we shall continue on with more uh, of the emergency services to get those in place. And as you can see, we're working a little bit harder than we did uh, with the town ones because the town ones just had to be like really small and simple and basic. Uh, these ones are the main, the main city. They have to be at least a little bit bigger, a little bit more interesting to look at. Anyway, 